Security police later arrested us, kept us in solitary confinement for five months. Five months. First few weeks, long hours of being questioned, lots of torture. You lose weight because they are giving you small amounts. It's frustrating, stressful because you are stuck in one small area. The prisoners here will normally be defiled. They will be talking to each other, making noise, even singing freedom songs. When you first came to court, you were speaking so slow. Even your mind looked like it's not working well. Now you are better. Now we are happy, you can see. Even your smile is genuine. Because when you were coming, you were just stretching your your, 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 your face. <laughs> not a good smile, not a real authentic smile. And then of course, you demand things like books, stimulate your mind, education, to improve yourselves whilst you are serving jail terms. You demand newspapers, so that at least you are not in the dark. If the prison guards feel you have broken the prison rules, maybe attempting to escape, or when you are beaten up by the guards, you fight back, or organizing hunger strikes, or refusing to do prison work, or you are found in possession of political literature, or you are found to have stolen newspapers from the guards. Don't punish. The pole right there, standing upright. That was used for whipping. You had to hold your, your, your arms around the hole like that, the pole, and then they keep the, the handcuffs. They whip you. You know, HIV and AIDS will still be very prevalent, you know, teenage pregnancy, drug abuse, alcohol abuse. So that's township life, basically. And as you can see, if you look at them, they don't really portray what um, the situation is. They are just normal.
In Windhoek, we had a much needed relaxing afternoon in some pretty nice accommodations. This jackal is protecting her pups. When tracking rhinos, it's important to be downwind, move slow, and be quiet. Rhinos have a great sense of smell but very poor eyesight, and they can outrun humans. They definitely sensed our presence. These lions took down this unlucky giraffe. When a herd of elephants come to a watering hole, all other animals leave.
So what we saw there with the lions uh, fighting, uh, the females uh, fighting against one female, it's quite a very, very rare sighting. I've never experienced it. By the way she's breathing, you can see she was a bit hurt. Probably one of them five, ten. Yeah. You can see by she's breathing like coughing. Her head is down, she's just submissive. The others would also not just attack because it's quite dangerous. He's trying to keep the young one away from the fire. Because it can be dangerous for the all the other seven lionesses were not around when the male was mating with the female but for sure that female is not from the pride that's why they were actually trying to kick her out from 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 uh, the area <clears throat> the situation is when the female was facing the other females it's more of a challenge to them when she's uh, facing them but as soon as she just went started walking uh, that's when the other females started uh, attacking her and now uh, we could see all these females just running all these five six females running after after the lioness and then from there they attacked it attacked her and uh, she went through to the other side you see that you see you see you see that so the one lying down, she's this. Yeah. Yeah. This. Yeah. Yeah. She had injuries, but not very uh, serious injuries. Yeah. So that was uh, luckily the whole situation with the female trying to attack the female. There was an eland that came there. Uh, we were actually there in the car trying to uh, uh, pray that uh, the situation get dissolved or there was a solution. And there came an a eland there and then everybody was like trying to attack uh, the eland and from there they left the line. This will be one-on-one. -on -one. It's probably the reason why she came in here at first. Okay, it's starting to move to the move. right. Yeah. It's still walking. Yeah. It's now in the bushes. I can't yeah. see it. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're leaving this one. Yeah. Luckily, the lioness was okay. And yeah. she joined the cubs there. She went on top of the mountain. It's very safe. She's now going to that male. And then the males also came out later and then uh, went up there, saluted her, and everything was okay.
back up for you. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we? Um, on Gava Game Reserve in Namibia. It's actually called the airport. <laughs> a German genocide systematically killed half the Nama population and 80% of the Herero population. It was a model later used by Nazis during the Holocaust. Unfortunately, after World War II, Namibia was under South African rule and subjected to apartheid. They gained independence in 1990. It was interesting when one of our guides said, we forgive, but we don't forget. This is the original way you can find the Wilwisha. It's a, it's a slow growing plant. In this area, no rain. Mostly it's the fog. And then when the dew comes on the plant, then the dew will be flowing from one leaf into the stem. And the, st and the stem, it's, it's a wood. If you listen to the sound... Oh! Can you hear that? It's a wood and then this is the leaves. So the leaves, for example, like here, if you look, if it has got like one, two, three, like four. But this piece, it breaks from here. And this piece also breaks from here. What happens is sometimes the animals are feeding on it. So we have three animals here. The big one is giraffe, yeah? That's giraffe. And then this one, it's oryx. And then the smallest one, it's springbok. Some chocolate and some tablets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Awa We came to the hyena den. The first we saw the female hyena, which was pregnant. So, mostly during the day, hyena are not active daytime. They are active during the night. That's the time they, they go for hunt. During the day, they are lazy, because that's the time for them to get rest. The sun is too hot.
So you could see the young how they are trying to learn a process of killing, trying to chew on the vehicle, and you could see how strong the massive of the, the, the their teeth. The small ones, they are about four to five months old. And the other one, which is about, which, which looks more darker, that one probably about one month and maybe two weeks old. And you could see how active it is. So it's always coming, but it doesn't stay long and then immediately runs back in the den. So it's a process of them learning. The Skeleton Coast is actually growing. This shipwreck was once on the shore. The dunes go inland for miles and miles. Sleeping under the stars was a little chilly, but very clear and perfect for stargazing. The desert heat comes in the afternoon, and so does the wind. Oh, 
Beku suvera Afrika Beku suvera Afrika Beku suvera Afrika 